everybody, welcome to the new Unitip video. In this video, we'll be talking about the basic information of all kinds of different texture paste available or texture product available to us in this market. So first of all, we're going to talk about the more traditional one. This one is Liquitex modeling paste. Now I think this one is the most traditional type. Traditional type, of course, you can buy in different brands like Golden or whatever brands you want to. Okay, and this one is a 13 hours acrylic modeling paste. I believe this one is available in Fly Unicorn. And this one is the most affordable, affordable texture paste that I've ever seen. This is already my second bottle, so I really, really love this. Now they're both traditional, but there are a difference between them. The main difference I will be talking about um, when I show you how they apply on the paper. They're both really, really flexible when you apply them, and they both hold their peak or hold their texture really, really, really well. And the only difference is I would, I would like to describe the Liquitex one as a really, really thick gesso, well as the um, Thudinars one. They are more like a gel kind of based texture paste. So the Thudinars one actually exists called a bit more than the Liquitex one. So that's a difference that I find. Okay, so the second texture product I want to talk about is the really, really heavy gel medium. Now these are from Golden, and this regular gel is available from is available in Fly Unicorn store. If you don't need the heavy gel, you really don't need it because the Golden regular gel is already extremely thick. But if you want it to be even thicker and have more body to it, or if you really, really want to thicken your really watery paint, by all means, go for the really heavy gel. Okay. Now they act the same, the only difference is their body. This one is, thick, is a thicker body. So I'm just going to talk about on this regular gel alone because they have the same properties. Now I usually use it as a glue because they're awesome for using as a glue and it's um, acid free and everything and it dries translucent and is matte so you don't see any traces of it. When you use them as a modeling paste, they resist every water-based paint you put on them which can provide you a really nice platform to use this technique and to add so much dimensions to your, to your work using this golden regular gel medium. And when you tint them, okay, so you can tint both of those products, um, traditional white color modeling paste or the really thick heavy gel medium. Now when you tint them, this modeling paste will give you a lighter color because it's white color based, but when you tint the gel medium, it'll give you the true color because it's translucent, doesn't have any color. The third product I want to talk about are the shimmers product. This one is textures, this one is dazzlers. I hope you can see how shimmery they are from a swatch I put on there. They are really beautiful shimmery product and they don't have those um, glittery type of shimmer. They have those really subtle, um, really fine mica in there. So they look really, really, really beautiful. The only differences between Dazzlers and Textures is that Dazzlers is only creaminess, okay? You don't get um, those sandy grits in the Textures, whereas in Textures, you will get those grits in there. And trust me, even with the really fine grits, you get really even coverage. When you apply it through stencil, it covers it really, really evenly. And the grits is so fine, okay, you would not um, damage your stencil, so don't worry about that. And the color selections between those two are really different, so they don't they don't have same colors. So you, um, it depends on what colors you want really, and if you want the sandy texture or this, um, or this pure creaminess. Okay, so that's the difference between them. So now I am going to show you, uh, after I apply texture paste, now you can't really see it because they are on this piece of white paper. These, these two, they are the gel medium ones, okay? And this one is a regular gel and this one is a heavy gel. Like I said, they're going to act the same, so I'm not going to show the differences. But I really want to show you how they resist water-based paint because these babies really, really do resist super well.
show you the modeling paste. This one is the Locotex traditional one, and this one is the 13 Arts one. Now, I hope you can see on the camera, but I don't think it's catching it. But um, the 13 Arts one has a little, just a tap little bit of a shinier finish than the Locotex one. And when it's a shinier little finish, you know that it would resist color more. <music> to look at the shimmers, dazzlers, and shimmers textures. And hopefully you can see the pure yummy shimmery goodness on them. And see how evenly, how nicely textures apply through stencils. So yeah, don't let the grip throw you off and thinking, oh my gosh, it's not going to apply evenly now, but you will. Trust me, you will. So this is the basic information on the texture product available in the market. I will do more videos regarding more techniques you can do with the texture product. But this one is just for the basic overall information. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later in next Unitip video. See ya!